Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope your uh, day is going well. I uh, thought I'd share with you some of my half dollars that I found coin roll hunting. Um, well, let's get right into it. So this is a 1972 uh, 50 cent Kennedy piece. Nothing too special about it, but the reason why I have picked it out and kept it is because it's got a rainbow tone on it. Some people in the collecting world actually like that rainbow tone on their coins. Um, especially in the silver coin uh, area. Uh, if the silver has any toning on it, it definitely can add some uh, eye appeal, as they call it. Um, S coin itself, being that it's 1972 clad, so there's no silver in it, probably not worth more than 50 cents, maybe 75 cents, but um, I liked the toning on that, so I kept it. Um, another coin here that I found is a 1982 uh, pen. Uh, P, which stands for Philadelphia. Um, the reason why I kept this out is it's got a, a casting error on it. You can see here that the main image is offset, um, probably only by about five, maybe five percent or less, um, but still enough to actually show an error of there should be a rim around the whole entire coin. So um, I thought I'd keep that. I don't think it's worth much, but. Um, it may be to someone who's interested. Um, this is a 1972 Denver Mint um, 50 cent piece. Um, there is a error on this. Um, it's called No FG Error, and it stands for uh, basically the engraver puts his initials right there. And I don't know if I can get it completely with this camera, but right below the leg here. Um, you can see on a normal 50 cent piece, let's see if I can find it here, uh, there we go, you can kind of see that FG there right below the, the eagle's leg, um, that is not on this coin, there are a couple coins, um, 50 cent piece coins that don't have that error, that are worth a bit more, one of them is the 1972 Denver Mint. Um, the other is a 1982 Philadelphia Mint, um, as well as I believe a 1966 um, Kennedy Silver half dollar. Um, this one, given that it's damaged and burnt, um, it's not worth as much uh, as one that would be in a bit more pristine condition. But the 1972 uh, Denver 50 cent no FG coins, a lot of them actually are in not very good shape um, out there in the collecting community. Um, so if you could find one of these that's in pretty good condition, um, yeah, you can find You can get a pretty good price for it. Um, some of them I've seen go for a couple hundred bucks, so uh, if not more. But uh, hope you like that. My favorite though, because I like gold, um, is this 1999 Philadelphia gold plated uh, Kennedy half dollar. Value wise, they're worth about five to ten bucks. Um, you can find these on uh, certain companies that sell coins to coin collectors. Um, they're kind of a novelty item. Uh, there's not much gold on here, but it is, I believe, 22 or 24 karat gold that's plated. Um, so the only reason why it's five to ten bucks is because of that. Um, there's nothing really rare about them. But the reason why I kept it is because I found it coin roll hunting. Um, someone decided to put this in a coin star, you know, collector coin or dump it off at their bank and deposit it, um, and it got into circulation. So, uh, you find these every so often when you coin roll hunt, uh, but I like them. So those are my 50 cent pieces that I've kept. Um, I've also found various silver half dollars, things like this. These usually only go for the price of uh, spot silver. Um, you can find information about the price of current price of coins like this that are just they call it U.S. constitutional currency uh, silver coins. Um, you can find that at various websites online. My favorite site to go to is CoinFlation.com, or I think it's CoinFlation.com actually. Um, I'll double check that just and put that up on the screen here. But uh, Hope you all have a good day and uh, enjoy collecting coins and enjoy the hobby. We'll see you at another time.